The Tools panel contains selection tools, editing and painting tools, foreground and background color selection boxes, and viewing tools. It also includes 3D tools which are new to Photoshop CS4. The Options bar is located below the menu bar. Depending on which tool is selected in the Tools panel, the Options bar changes and displays options accordingly. Take a look. Let's practice using the Zoom tool. From the Tools panel, select the Zoom tool. You'll notice your cursor now looks like a little magnifying glass. Click on the image of the Earth to zoom in. To zoom back out, click on the Zoom Out button on the Options bar. Then click on the Earth again. To fit the image to the screen, Click on the Fit Screen button on the Options bar. Let's go back to the Tools panel. You'll notice a triangular tip on the bottom right corner of some of the tools. Right-click on the Marquee tool, for example, to reveal its hidden tools. In this exercise, we're going to select the image of the Earth. In order to do that, let's select the Elliptical Marquee tool. On the canvas, click and drag to make a selection. Click on the Select menu, then select Deselect in order to remove the selection. Let's try that again and try to make a more accurate selection. First, you want to click and drag to make a selection. But before you let go of the mouse, hold down the spacebar on the keyboard to reposition the selection. Keep holding down the mouse, but release the spacebar and redraw the selection. You can repeat this until your selection accurately encompasses the Earth. Once the selection's been made, you can move it by selecting the Move tool in the Tools panel, then clicking and dragging your selection of the Earth anywhere on the canvas. To remove the Earth entirely, just hit Delete on your keyboard. The reason the leftover area created by moving or deleting the earth is white is because in the foreground background colors, the background is set to the color white. If it was pink, then it'd be pink where the earth was deleted or moved. The foreground color is applied when using the brush tool, the type tool, or the shape tool. Now to change the foreground color, all you have to do is click on the foreground color swatch. Then in the color picker dialog box, Drag the vertical slider up or down to select a hue. And then click inside the large square to select the desired saturation. When satisfied, click on the OK button. Back in the Tools panel, you'll see that the foreground color swatch reflects the changes that's been made. If I were to use the brush tool or the text tool, then the color applied would be the foreground color. In order to change the foreground and background color, you can click on the arched double-headed arrow in order to toggle the colors back and forth. Now to switch the foreground and background colors back to their default black and white setting, all you have to do is click on the default foreground and background colors icon. 